Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. We're going to do a walkthrough of a Carl Engelhardt TWF 1000 stair trencher and multi boring machine. This machine has a lot of flexibility and is much more than a stair trencher in that it can do some complex boring that other machines cannot do. Basically, it has an XYZ axis. You can travel the full length from front to back via this side hand wheel here. These are precision gear boxes. Uh, this machine retails for over $30,000, is built in Germany, and is machined to a really high standard. A lot of things have been thought through on this machine. Again, you have 62 inches from the front spindle all the way forward. However, that's the max amount of travel. You're going to have 48 inches of travel from here to basically here. And uh, these two towers here, this one here, which you see right here, and this tower here are basically connected with a shaft down the center that attaches to this hand wheel and that controls how thick you can set this fence. This basically is the locking jaw and this is what locks your material in. Uh, there's rubber on the top, steel on the bottom. These fences will slide in and out if need be. Obviously this fence here is also adjustable. We just have it set on an angle so you can see. And this material here basically Right now it's set for about two inches, but these jaws, again, will open up to four and a half inches, so you can put up to four and a half inch thick work pieces in here. And again, you have 48 inches from basically here all the way to the front here before you hit an obstacle. Basically hitting this right here is going to be what holds your material in place. Now you're going to ask yourself, why is there 62 inches of travel? Being a German machine, they've thought of a lot of things that you just don't see on other machines. This machine is powered by a 4 horsepower 220 volt motor. It is, has both forward and reverse and is also two, two speed as well. It does have two counter-rotating spindles, and as you can see, we have drastically changed this machine up a little bit. Now it can basically bore off the end, so now you have an open space to the floor. You're no longer stuck between the two uh, jaws. You're no longer stuck in that 48-inch capacity. Again, that 48-inch capacity is from front spindle forward. You get a little bit more, you're going to pick up about six inches on this spindle. So, I mean, you're going to pick up to about 54 inches if you use just the back spindle, if you're not using both. These fences will slide forward out of the way, and you basically have an open area where you can end bore. You can put a table on the end here to do other kinds of boring. A lot of thought went into this machine. You have an overhead work light, nice halogen work light. It's really nice. Something else that's really thoughtful that they put in here is that you're going to come to the back of the machine, you're going to see this lever. We didn't know what it was for. And uh, believe it or not, when you pull this up, it is on casters. It has built-in casters. So you can now basically move the machine, the machine around. Basically, this shaft through here uh, it drops four wheels. So it's actually... Uh, basically has a built-in mobile base. It's really interesting. Uh, this dust collection hose, obviously, you could put out of the way if you want up here. It hangs off the back or to the side, depending on what you're doing. Like I said, just a really, really unique machine. Almost impossible to find in North America. Unless the clamping jaws are closed, you cannot turn the machine on. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. That's basically first gear. That's a low speed. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There's a second speed.
Now basically we call this an X, Y, Z axis machine because this would be your X axis right here. You're basically able to come forward and back and you basically have these two stops. You have one front, one back for repeatability. So you could basically route slots or to route your stringers or depending on what you're trying to do. You also have this hand wheel here which controls another uh, really precision gearbox. These are really well built gearboxes if you pop them open. They're, it's really complicated and this machine is really ultra smooth. As you can see I can use just two fingers and move it. This is your Y positioning and as you can see you can offset that and you have three and a half inches of travel in the center here. So basically even if your material is clamped you don't have to necessarily move it over. You could actually adjust over if need be. So if you put your workpiece in or you can put a slot from left to right three and a half inches long on your basically left to right which would be your Y axis. Uh, this is what you were calling your Z axis. You basically have three and eighths inch of depth travel on this Z here. And again, uh, as you can see, we had this one opened up all the way. There's a depth adjuster behind both of these. Uh, this one we had opened up so it goes to the full depth of three and an eighth inches. And this one here, like I said, we just had it at the setting that it came in. A really rare machine, clean, full operating condition. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com or give us a call at 630-229-6705. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.